camp's going well. We, we've had eight practices. We had our first scrimmage uh, yesterday. Uh, I really thought it was our best scrimmage, our best first scrimmage that we've had in the three years that I've been here. Uh, I, I, I really thought the execution and the uh, uh, just the overall on both sides of the ball, just knowing it, you know knowing what to do and and uh, playing the game was really good for a first scrimmage. So that's pleasing and uh, exciting. Um, I, you know. What I think is going to be different from year one and two, we're a little bit more experienced. Um, we've got more uh, skilled position talent than we've had. We're bigger and stronger and have a little bit more depth in our defensive line and our offensive line. Uh, I, I think our quarterback situation, I think we're going to be, you know, we're going to have two to three guys that can play a quarterback. So, you know, I think, I think we have more bodies. You know, we're going to have 76 scholarship players going into 2018, whereas in previous years we've had 62 and 68. So we're, the numbers are increasing, so we're excited about that. And you asked about the competition with the uh, with the depth. I think anytime you've got more depth at a position, I think it adds to the competition at that position. So our players are competing at a higher level because there's a guy behind them that's competing for that position too. So it makes your football team better. And if that happens at each of your positions, Hopefully the competition overall in your program gives you a chance to go compete against your opponents. And uh, I think that's kind of where we are now is, you know, we've got more depth and we've got more guys in, in, the, uh, in positions that are competing for jobs that are going to help us give, uh, have a chance to be better on the football field. Yeah, and, and again, I, I, look at it, I look at the program. I don't look at teams. I look at our program. And, you know, obviously you, we'd love to have been – further along in year two. But it's hard to be further along in year two if you don't have the numbers and the, and the people in place. We're now getting the numbers and the people in place. And eight days in practice, it's shown up as a positive for our football team in 2018. So yeah, I'm excited uh, where we are, eight practices into uh, training camp. Uh, next week will be a huge week for us. Uh, you know, as far as growth in our football team, we've got some guys that are uh, nicked up that we'll get back next week to add to what we're doing. So uh, we're excited about where we are right now. We've got a ways to go. We've got to continue to get better, but uh, it's an exciting time for us. I think Willie deserves, you know, what we try to do is not put freshmen uh, in front of you guys that, don't, that haven't played. And uh, Willie played for us last year. Uh, he competed really well, and he's done a really good job through camp. I don't think it's a, a declaration that he's our starter, but uh, you know, after the first scrimmage, uh, it was it was evident to us as a staff that he had a little bit more command of what was going on out there. And uh, you know, we're all about trying to help some of these guys grow their brand and, and uh, get them in front of media. And every time they're in front of media, it's a job interview, so we're trying to help them. Surprises. Uh, probably uh, the biggest is the number of receivers with talent that can make a play that we have. Uh, I, I did not. I expected us to have better numbers at receiver, which we do. The numbers are there, but the number of guys that can actually go make a play uh, has been really, really exciting. And, and Coach Antoine. Uh, we sit around and talk all the time about the difference in that room from 2016 to 2018 and the number of, of athletes and long guys that can run and make a play and not only that be good people and good kids off the field that we have in that room has is, is grown and it was evident yesterday uh, Javen Banks made a big play in the scrimmage yesterday, big long pass, uh, uh, KDOT, uh, uh, took a, a, a pass yesterday about 60 yards uh, on a, on a uh, read uh, on a uh, RPO play and uh, Jacoby Hopkins you know all three true freshmen uh, that made plays catch and run plays for us uh, they, they, they don't seem like they're out of place in, in, you know at our level and doing what we ask them to do well we, we always we, we've wanted to win since the day we got here uh, so wins are important. We understand that. We understand that that's what 
you know, people want to see. That's going to get people in the stands. Uh, I think what, what I look at more is the growth of this program. And once the growth of this program is, is obviously where we want it to be, the wins will come. Uh, we, we, we Honestly, we've seen that work. You know, I, I've been in a number of places. I've seen it work. I've seen it work in some places a little faster than others. Uh, this was a definite total overhaul, uh, but we're in year three now. We're closer to having the, the, the right guys and the depth at every position that we need uh, to go compete and have a chance to win. I'd have to say in my head coaching career it is, uh, James Madison was a, was a little bit different. They had won before. They had gotten really complacent and kind of stayed around the five and six, seven and four, six and six kind of range. They never were, you know, three and nine or anything like that. Uh, and what they needed was just to remember how to win. So it took us a little bit shorter time there to get a culture going uh, there, but it, it, was, it was still tough. Uh, this may be, yeah, the toughest. The toughest is a head coach. Uh, I came in on year two of Butch Davis turning it around at North Carolina. Um, and in 2010, we probably could have been a top top, top five in the country team uh, in 2010. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this is probably the toughest because I think it's it's an overall. It's not just in this building now. It's it's you got to change it everywhere. I mean, you got to change it in the training room. You got to change it over in the athletic department. I mean, because it, I mean, to go win at a high level. I'm talking about. I'm not talking about going to win six games. I'm talking about go win championships. That's that's ultimately what we want to do uh, in in this building for sure. Uh, but you got to affect it. your culture's got to affect everybody, and everybody's got to be on board with it. Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, I think we lose five guys off our team. After 2018, we lose. If if we had to play to, today, we probably lose two starters off our team. We won't lose. We won't lose really a significant amount of guys until like 20, 2020. So you're talking about still the youth of this team and still having some experience because guys have played a lot of snaps. That's that's really uh, uh, exciting for us as coaches, and it should be exciting to our fans. You know, if our alumni and fans want to come see something really exciting, come watch Willie Jones, come watch uh, uh, Robert Brown, come watch all uh, uh, Savion Patton, Dean Taylor, because you're going to get to see them for two or three years, and they're really good players. And, uh, and it's going, it's, it'll be exciting. I think this program's, you know, obviously trending up. It was a lot of heavy lifting early, I tell you that. Well, Stephen Hill uh, is in that position for us now, and uh, it's truly uh, uh, been, a, been a blessing to have Steve. Stephen knows so much about the high school coaches in this state, and uh, you know, for us to touch them. I, again, I think the Texas High School Coaches Association is the best in the country. So to have that relationship with the high school coaches is key as a head coach in this state. So uh, we want to make sure that our players that come from the high schools, that those high school coaches are attached to our program. And we're reaching out to all the high school coaches. So Steve has done, Steve has done a really, uh, really good job in the first few months he's been here. And, and uh, we'll continue to, to grow that, that position because uh, it's important to our program. He, he's, he's working really hard. Uh, he's, uh, I think he's, he's like most freshmen. It's a little bit overwhelming uh, because the, you know, when you're in high school, you got, you know, three coverages to learn, and now he's got 16 uh, to learn. So uh, I think he's doing well. Uh, we talk a little bit, you know, as father and son, a little bit, you know, after the fact. But when we're in football, we do football. You know, we talk like I'm the coach and he's the player. So, but I think he's doing well.